Warning, the following commentary contains shenanigans of the likes of which you've never seen. Some viewers may find this offensive. What's up everyone, I'm Dr. Much Love. And sorry for the being away for a long duration of time. I actually went to masturbate one day, mistook, mistook the fucking glue, the lubricant for glue, and basically now there's a permanent imprint on my dick of my hand around it. Anyway, this is story time episode six, I believe, and I'm going to be discussing today with you all fine gentlemen, you fucking perverted scumbags. And I'm sure there's a couple of ladies that listen in as well, but uh, I'm going to be discussing disgusting wow anyway I'm gonna be discussing uh, my last Saturday night shenanigans and a couple of Wednesdays ago yeah more fourth nights than that I suppose ago where uh, I went out also so uh, this most recent Saturday that had just passed I uh, one of my one of my good old friends was going away for a couple of weeks it was going snowboarding or something <coughs> pardon me I've been drinking lots of coke I'm tired and uh, he was going away, so I ended up seeing him out in the city, and uh, we were just having some drinks. Turns out the bar were at his fucking AIDS on a Friday night sometime, so we decided to go to this this nice hip-hop bar called uh, the Northern Club. And uh, so we're just chilling there, you know, we're just just having a couple of beers. I believe I slammed down a couple of Skittle Bombs, $14 a pop, man, you best believe I was fucked up. And uh, and then we will just, anyway, so we, yeah, we were just chilling there, and then... We look across the bar and we see this cute little sexy Asian woman. Now I don't know what's going on. She looks alone, her 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 she's face palming because she's obviously bored and tired. And my my friend, my brother tells me, uh, you, you should go over and, and start talking to her. She she looks lonely, you know. You might be able to get some of that Asian punani tonight, you know, and I'm and I'm all for that. So uh you know, I was thinking maybe I can get some of those uh those weird colored vagina lips around my around my penis because if you've seen Asian porn they actually do have uh, you know blue vagina lips sometimes it's like I don't know it, I don't really find it that hot but you know you gotta you gotta dip your hand in every cookie barrel once 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 in a while anyway so I, so I mosey around there hammered drunk as I normally am and I see her and I introduce myself I say how you doing I'm Dr. Much Love and uh, she looks at me and says her name is Takahishi Man, whatever, something like that. No racist. And uh, so we so we just start talking for a while. I buy her a drink. We're chatting it up. And uh, and out of nowhere, I, I look over my corner. I see this. I see this little Asian guy with uh with glasses on and everything. Probably about four four foot nine. He walks over. And if I spoke Japanese, I swear to God, he would have said. I swear to God, he said, "What is this? Who is this guy? Who is this?" I thought you were mine, like, you know, something like that. She was getting all mad and shit, so I just tilted my cap on her and, uh, and we headed on our way. And, uh, yeah, so so after a while we, did, we decided to leave that area, that bar. And, uh, so, so we headed to this, uh, the last nightclub open in my city called, uh, uh, the New York. And uh, so yeah, so we're getting in there and we're dancing love. It's about four o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna tell him. I told him I, I'm just gonna go hit the dance floor, up, you know, go hit the DF, burn, burn some motherfucking rubber on my shoes. You know how it is. And uh, next thing I know, he disappears. Now he said early on it was right that I'd stay at his house, so it was all gravy, baby. You know, so I was all set. I had somewhere to pass out. It was all good. But uh, little did I know, I turn my back, he's gone. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Then it's all good. So uh, I step out the front of the club. I'm just chilling there. And uh, what do I see? Lots of random people, so um, other than that, I'm waiting to get my head stomped in, but there's this one guy, and he's, he's, he's friends with some dudes, and uh, he starts passing out, so uh, they asked me to help help him carry him to the um, to the late night pizza shop, and I was like, alright then, so we all picked him up and carried him, I'm thinking this guy's fucking dead, he's sitting there nearly convulsing, choking on his fucking tongue or his boyfriend's dick, I don't know what the fuck was going on. It didn't matter though, so anyway, I got in the pizza shop, I didn't get gang raped, so that, that was always pretty good. And uh, anyway, so I go in there, and there's an Indian guy working behind the, behind the counter. And uh, wow, this is a very cultural episode. But uh, yeah, anyway, there's no pizza left, just my fucking luck. I'm about 30 beers deep, all fucked up, and I just want to go try to get to this dude's hat to my friend's house and pass out. But no, it's never that easy in my life. So, uh... Next thing I know, 
It's fucking half an hour's past. I'm passing out the counter, drooling all over shit. Fucking pretty sure I pissed my pants at one stage. And you know, here we go, here's my slice of ham and cheese pizza or whatever. It, he warned me it was hot, but I was too hungry. So I grabbed it, headed out the door, took a bite, fucking scalded my mouth like a son of a fucking cunt. So at this point in time, I've had enough. It's like 5.30 in the morning. My mouth feels like an Arabian's fucking Turkish motherfucking camel's asshole that's been raped by the devil's dick. It's that hot and burnt. And uh, I just want to get back to his house. Anyway, so I just keep moseying along. I'm just having a couple of smokes. Had another beer or so, and uh, and then next thing I know, I'm at this I'm at this hill called Belfer Street, and uh, that's not a good thing because when I was a lot younger, I actually skated down it. It's this massive ass fucking hill, and uh, so I realised I was about 40 minutes walk from my friend's house. So anyway, let's just flip it forward about another two hours when I finally made it in the door at about 6 a.m. I knock on the door, some woman answers. She lets me in. I give her a high five, thanks to that lady, now I have to sleep outside. Mo's in upstairs, I was going to go crash on the couch in, in, in my brother's room, but uh, turns out he locked his door. So I see this basket of clothing on the ground. Now I'm thinking, I'm going to take I'm gonna take those clothes out of that basket and make myself a nice little cat bed in, out the front of his door and just nap away for a couple of hours. Just get into the fetal position and just casually nap. And uh, I did this. I, I indeed did this for probably an hour or two until I, I woke up with what appeared to be a used condom and a and a dirty towel wrapped around my face. Anyway, so that by, by that point I realised I just turned around and looked behind me. There was another door. Now that's where his friend actually lived. And I I basically just uh, walked straight in and I basically face palmed my testicles because I realised that that door was unlocked the whole time. And from what I've from what I've been told, I actually just I walked into the room, passed out, ripped his blanket off him, rolled myself up in like a little taco, and uh, just passed out. By that point, it was about seven o'clock in the morning, and yeah, it was that that was basically my uh, my Saturday night with uh, one of my good old brothers. But uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna try and cover this next one pretty quick. Um, this was Wednesday night. This is the, the the college kid night. All the college motherfuckers come out. We have a good ass time, but uh, but yeah, I'm a working class man, so I'm, I'm I don't I don't get myself involved in those sorts of shenanigans. But once every now, once in a while, it's alright. And uh, so basically, it was just a really gnarly night. This is the first time I ever tried the alcoholic substance known as Skittle Bomb. If you know what if you know what it is, you'll know how badass it is. And uh, and yeah, so basically, you get blind drunk. Uh, and at the top of this club, it's, a, it's a, at the top of this dance club. There is actually a uh, a fucking karaoke bar. Now, apparently, from what I'm from what I've been told, there was this one guy who was not drinking, was not doing anything. He went there just to sing karaoke for the love of his life. And I'm sitting there with with one of my best friends, pointing and laughing at him, saying, "This guy's shit. I'm gonna get up there and and I'm gonna show him how it's done." And mind you, I don't, I don't remember any of this. This is goddamn retarded to me at this point in time. So, uh, so yeah, basically, I, I get up on, st I get up on stage, grab the spare mic, start singing along with him. I sang for three whole fucking songs, and then apparently the music cut off, and he just said, "This other guy's just like, I don't even know this fucking guy," and I just laughed in his face and kept singing. Can you imagine that, Doctor? Much love doing karaoke. It was fucking retarded, bro Skittles. But anyway, so I mean, I eventually ended up getting kicked out that night. I don't know what I did. I probably tried to fucking shoot up awesomeness in the toilet. I don't fucking know. And uh, anyway, so later on that night, my friends, I was just gonna go stay at one of my friends' house because I was too drunk to be coming home. And uh, and I was like, no, I'm a good man. And apparently, I started to get enraged and angry at him. And this is not me. This is the one-off time in my life. You know, it was quite surprising, but, uh, and, so, and apparently I got up, stood up, and I got out of the car, and I was just convulsing, I was like, Ugh, uh, uh, and he's telling me, get back in the car, bro, and I'm like, nah, so anyway, I ended up going inside, smashing my plasma into my wall, just falling into it, went out the back and just, uh, just casually vomited, fell in my vomit, then fucking slept in the pond the night, yeah, I have this little pond in my backyard, but, uh, yeah, you know this has been, peace out, much love.